See, now I'm getting nervous. I was all like, oh, yeah, and now I'm like, oh. like after seeing it now, now I'm definitely getting nervous. Hey Vogue, it's Suki. Come join me for a day while I get ready to play the fonder tonight. Ah! Okay, let's go in. Hi, how you doing? Great, how are you today? I'm very good. Can I just show you what's happened? This is what going on tour does to your clothing. This poor jacket was in such gorgeous condition. I'm really sorry, Maison Tia. That is absolutely horrendous. I was incredibly nervous about putting myself out there with music. It kind of felt like this thing, like, oh, am I gonna be allowed to do something else as well? And I was very prepared for everyone to just be like, no, boo you, leave, don't wanna hear it. So everything that happened after that has just been like a wonderful addition. I have a uh, press tour coming up for Daisy Jones um, in a couple of days and we're going to London and then we're going to, uh, we're coming back to LA and then we're going to New York. So I have like, I think I have like 10 looks that I need. So that's where we're going. This Come is on. Rob. Hi guys. Every time. Every time. It always takes my breath away. We've been asked to, to stick to a 70s theme, which is, which is going to be interesting. How big can the jackets get at this point? What do you think? You like it? Pretty cool. I'm obsessed. It's, it's coming awesome. to London. Okay, I'm sorry. I just had to have you guys come back because I wanted you to see this because I'm just living for it. I'm just getting like a little, a little hungry. I'm just gonna eat like a little, a little bit of mashed potatoes. I love mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes are the best. Woo! We're going to the Fonda. I did a support tour in, in summer. I didn't expect to be able to go on my own tours. It's kind of like absolute chaos, but it's the best kind of chaos. This is wild. Whoa! <laughs> this is like by far the biggest place that I think I've ever performed at ever. Myself. Whoa. It's gorgeous. Okay, I'm showing you guys the tour bus. This is where we've been living for the last month. Should we do a bunk tour? Nothing's been uh, clean for a long time. This is more of the uh, the boy area. It kind of, I was trying to, I was going to be like, oh, it doesn't smell funny, but it actually does smell quite funny. This is Amelia's bunk, this is my bunk. My bunk is absolutely appalling looking. Okay. See, I've never seen this before in my life. I think it's, I think it's a little present. That's really sweet, it says I love you. See, now I'm getting nervous. I was all like, oh, yeah, and now I'm like, <gasps> like after seeing it now, now I'm definitely getting nervous. Yeah. We're going to go and do sound check and, and make sure that we uh, sound. OK, that's usually the goal of, of sound check. Let's go. <laughs> when I got Daisy Jones and all of us had this huge undertaking to actually become a band, we were basically like sent to boot camp and we went to Sound City Studios, which is just like an incredibly historically unbelievable studio. It's where like Fleetwood Mac came together. And I think the circumstances around the show definitely did like bring me to make my record. And I think it definitely inspired all of us. I'm kind of in like a calmer phase now. I was definitely Same. nervous earlier. Yeah, yeah, I feel good. Mate. And it, it will ramp up. It will ramp up later. Thank you. Thank you. 
is there a comparison between seeing things, you know, seeing the response of something you made in music when you watch a film that you've been in or something like that? This is entirely different. Like the way that you connect with fans with music is entirely different to like yeah. anything, anything else. I think tonight I'm gonna to wear this, this St. Lawrence sparkly jumpsuit. This might be the night that I break my leg in St. Laurent. Blonde Shell just went on, which means that we're 40, no, it means we're an hour off. Suki Waterhouse. <laughs> <laughs> I put on Bart. Stupidly. Oh my <laughs> no, goodness. Yeah. If you don't, <laughs> I forgot your well, <laughs> Um, oh, it's so you sweet to get you guys. So it's so <laughs> sweet to see you guys. Oh my God, I'm Thank excited. you for coming. <laughs> what draws me to music is I have to keep needling myself for an answer. When I want to write a song is usually when I've run out of like socially acceptable amounts of talking to like a friend or even like a therapist about someone or a feeling. Making music is the only way that I've been able to make something tangible out of something intangible. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 